National security tariffs are meant to protect vital U.S. industries. But some members of the Senate, including Senator Pat Toomey, say that's not how the Trump administration is using them. Sarah Bonadies reports. U.S. steel manufacturing is supposed to benefit from the administration's tariffs on steel imports, says AFL-CIO trade specialist Celeste Drake. Well, the workers who are in the steel and aluminum industry and the businesses that employ them, we think, are going to be the primary beneficiaries. Senator Pat Toomey notes American Steel has been doing pretty well. We have a huge, robust steel-producing industry in the country. So why impose tariffs on a booming industry? Tariffs are really a tool to get other countries to change their behavior, and if they're effective, you lift them. If the Trump administration imposes even more tariffs, some economists say that could lead to a global economic slowdown. Ultimately, they don't really work. They end up raising costs for the economy. They end up being very um, onerous for the companies involved. But Drake disagrees, saying the tariffs are a step towards helping U.S. manufacturers so that they can rebuild and do what they're supposed to do, which is compete in a very competitive market. Toomey has been one of the leading voices in the Senate against the administration's use of national security tariffs. We had an important vote. 88 senators went on record agreeing with the principle that Congress should have some say in this process. Although that vote was non-binding, Toomey hopes Congress will find a legislative fix before job growth is hurt. In Washington, Sarah Bonadies, Jet 24 Action News.